We're at the Aquina Bay in Oregon looking for an estuary shrimp known as Eupogebia pugitensis. This particular type of shrimp, commonly referred to as mud shrimp, closely resembles a crawfish. A large majority of these shrimps are affected by a parasite known as Ortheone griffinus. This parasite will attach itself to the shrimp's gills, which are located on the sides of the shrimp. The shrimp can be affected on one side, two sides, or even on its flippers. After removing the parasite from the shrimp's abdomen, we place the shrimp back in the water so that it can have a second chance at a healthy life. Once the parasite is attached to the shrimp, it drains the nutrients from the shrimp's blood and even inhibits reproduction. I was once told that it's like having a watermelon shoved in your rib cage. So one of the main questions that I get asked is if this invasive shrimp parasite can attach itself to a human. Today, we're gonna find that out. I'm going to be placing this parasite onto my arm and leaving it there for roughly five minutes to see if it'll attach. All right, here we go. I can't believe I'm actually gonna do this. I've had nightmares about these things. Okay, it's on. Now we're just gonna leave it here for about five minutes, see what it does. These things are disgusting. If you look at it close, it looks like something off of the movie Alien, except worse. All of its little legs are moving around. Almost looks like it's trying to walk on me, but the strange thing about these parasites is their legs are sort of on top of their body. So you look at them and you wonder how they try to walk around. While the parasite was on my arm, the only thing I noticed was a bit of pulsating. Other than that, nothing much. It's been on for roughly two and a half minutes and I'm not feeling anything yet. No bite, no pain, no itching. I don't think it's doing anything and if it is, I just can't feel it. All right, we're removing the parasite now. So it doesn't seem that this parasite tried to attach itself to me even after five minutes of being on the skin, which is a relief. So to answer the most common question, can these invasive parasites attach themselves to humans? The answer is no. We will be working with the State University to find out more information about these parasites and what other impacts they might have on humans that we just aren't aware of yet. And the second most common question that I get asked is, what do we do with the parasites once they're removed from the shrimp? Well, there's a couple things we can do. One of the options is to measure them and provide the information to local science agencies to help them solve and eliminate this invasive parasite, or we can turn them into plant compost. Either way, we're taking an invasive species out of the water and putting it to good use. My main goal with this experiment is to raise awareness of invasive species and the impact that it has on native animals. So the question has been answered, can these parasites attach to a human? The answer is no. But I want to thank you all so much for the inspiration behind this video. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to follow if you love ocean animals.